All right, so for today's topic, those of you that have followed me for a while know that I went through my own healing journey uh, with physical chronic symptoms many years ago. And like many of you probably, I tried everything, every medicine, every doctor, every supplement, everything I could to try to make my symptoms go away. I tried to make the suffering, the depression, the anxiety in relation to all my physical symptoms go away. There was nothing that seemed to work. And then to make matters worse, I had people telling me things like, what you resist persists and what you hate, you grow. I had people all over telling me, Missy, you've got to learn to make peace with your symptoms. You've got to surrender. You've got to accept your, your current situation before you can heal. And because I was in a state of fear already, and because there was already a story running through my mind that somehow the length, the duration of my physical symptoms was somehow my fault, like somehow my stress level or my anxiety was creating this sort of mess I was in, I already had a level of shame and guilt to now add more fear. So when people were telling me I had to surrender, that I had to make peace, that I had to accept, to me, in the state I was in, it only created more tension because I didn't know how to do those things. So the harder I tried to accept and try to surrender and try to make peace with the very thing that looked like it was ruining my life, the worse I got for a little while. Until I sort of fell into this conversation, this understanding about how we work, about how we are designed to thrive, and about how the mind tells really, really creative, dramatic stories, but that there's a different place to look. There's a different voice to tune into. There's a healing space, a heart space, a space I call the voice of truth. And as I started having fresh eyes and having sort of a, an opening to see something new, I noticed some interesting things happening. I would find myself and not know how I got there in a momentary space of peace, a brief fleeting few seconds of acceptance or surrender out of nowhere. And I noticed that in those seconds or sometimes minutes, I wouldn't be suffering. Either my symptoms themselves would diminish and I wouldn't suffer, or my symptoms would simply be exactly the same, but the suffering would not be there. And I thought that was really curious because I didn't know how that happened. I didn't try. One of the things I love to tell uh, a lot of my clients that I work with that have chronic symptoms is that the suffering is in the seeking. When we are striving and seeking and trying so hard to make our body relax, to make it accept something, we actually create more tension. But as we begin to open our eyes to see something fresh and new, to look from a new vantage point, to look through a new lens, guess what happens? Peace, surrender, acceptance, those things that are innate to us, built into our design, they begin to rise to the top. They begin to come to the surface on their own. None of this is a doing None of this is a trying, a striving. It's just a seeing something new. It's being open to considering something you haven't considered before. Being curious rather than judgmental. Listening through the heart rather than through the intellect. It's a pretty incredible exploration and one that can lead to immense freedom and peace and joy. If this resonates at all with you, I hope you'll join me. And even if you don't, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this. This is one of my favorite topics because finding peace and freedom, when I was going through that 
healing journey of my own, that very long, long season of chronic symptoms. This is where I found unbelievable freedom. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.